Welcome to my channel SwiftLearn. This tutorial is how to create a DLC report with MS SQL Server database in C Sharp Windows Form application for beginners. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Start Visual Studio. Click a new project. Expand the C Sharp. Windows, select Windows, on the left one select the folder where you want to save your project. Switch up tutorial RDLC, select folder and name this project. My project name is create RDLC report project. Okay, just uh, click on OK. My project is created. Yes. Now resize this form, design this form. This is the database in the server explorer. I have connected, expand the database, go tutorial db, expand the table, user info tab, id, name, address, cd, sex at the column in the table, show the table data. These are the records in the database table. Click on form. Now go to the solution explorer. Click on right click the project, add new item. Yes, now click on the data in the left hand, add new data set. Just click on add. Yes, the data set is added. Just drag the table from the server explorer and drop it in the data set. Okay, the table is added. You can create table and column manually. Okay, now create new item add new item reporting uh, click reporting yes add new report you can use report wizard uh, to design this report okay report the name is the report is user info rpt okay there, if there is no data set just click on new data set yes data sources data set one and the available data set is user info tab fields are id number to cdsx Okay, now just uh, add header, page header, and uh, page footer. Yes, page header and footer is added. Now add text box to write uh, footer. Center of this text box, bold, italic, and font size is 16 feet. Okay. Now add a text box as like uh, a footer in the header. Okay, user information. Font size is 20 feet. Now add a table in the body. Insert table. There are three column, default three column. Uh, select the ID, name, address. Yes, I have to add uh, three more column uh, so because I have uh, uh, six column in there. Table. That is a table. Okay. I have uh, three more columns added. Columns are added. Okay. Now, CD, Ace, Sats. Okay. It's done. Positioning. Okay. Now, in the form, go to the toolbox and add a report uh, add button control to load the report you can uh, uh, load uh, you can write this code in the form load event i am just writing report uh, so that you can understand uh, about uh, the load event and uh, the button click event back color of this button is green okay now add a report viewer all right we will display the rdls report Resize this report viewer. Yes. Now go to the button click event. Button one and rest click. This is the button click event. Now connect to the SQL Server database. In that case, I could SQL connection con equal to new SQL connection. Uh, you should add namespace using system dot sql client yes the namespace is added 
now just uh, paste the connection listing uh, to get the connection listing right click uh, the database property connection listing just select the connection listing copy and paste it in the sql connection yes now it's connected to the database now sql command open the connection and now sql command cmd equal to sql command my sql command is uh, select star from user input tab user input tab is the table in the database sql server database call the con connection con now sql data adapter d equal to new sql data adapter cmd sql command okay now data table dt equal to new data table da dot fill dt now it's done so report viewer now report viewer uh, report data source rds equal to new report data source you should add namespace in the report uh, to use report data source my uh, data set data set one this is the data set one and dt is data table okay uh, add namespace for report data source this is the data set data set one dt namespace is using microsoft report dot this form yes the namespace is added see that and they're using microsoft dot report data data form okay now Report viewer one dot local report dot report path. Uh, report path. Uh, my report uh, report path is just right click property. Yes, this is the report path. Just click copy. Double click to select and copy paste. Yes, path is added now. If it be your one dot local report dot data source uh, dot clear first of all clear the report then I'll load the data in the report in that case data source dot at RDS if it be your one dot refresh report okay it's done now just debug oh error error what's error and recognize as sequence oh sorry to avoid this error the error uh, happened because of uh, the backslash to remove this error just add at the rate before double uh, quotation just uh, debug yes now just click on load Yes, the records are displaying for Fakla in the report viewer. Here's a scroll down. Yes, all the records are displaying for Fakla. Okay. Is the record in the database table? Now, now I'm going to uh, delete a sex column. And I will add this column in out of uh, table in the header portion out of table. I'm just adding text box. Uh, text is a sex colon. Okay, just drag this sex uh, from the data set to report view, uh, report RDLC report. Okay, now it's added for the form. Now I'm gonna add a control combo box control. Now I will have two items, uh, male and female, sex male and female, and I will load the report based on the sex. Select on the combo box control. Okay, now male, female, click on OK. Just two item. Now, just add a condition in the SQL command. Select the star from user and put it where sex equal to single condition double condition this is the syntax to call the comma box in the sql command comma box one dot text text sex equal to comma box one dot text i mean if you select mail 
then it will load uh, that those record whose sex are male and if you're female then female okay now click load yes it's displaying those record was uh, based on uh, sex in the select on the combo box female male yes it's the records are displaying based on the selected uh, combo box export the report in PDF okay the record exported and uh, my report your name is user info rpt dot pdf open yes there's the pdf report you can choose report in report viewer instead of using full path just remove this path of line in this code of line just select the report viewer click choose report just select the report get other the report the info report okay now just uh, debug yes it's working select the gender sex female yes it's perfectly working